If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGAG, and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Bang, man, y'all know what time it is, man. The doctor's in the house. Check this out. So, you know, it's early in the morning, man, on a on a Monday. I know early Monday morning. I, I feel bad because I was supposed to I was supposed to uh, do the All Star Game coverage on Saturday, and then I was like, man, I'm gonna drop the video on Sunday. But you know, on Saturday there was a lot of boxing events, so you know, I had, I had to pay attention to that. But I definitely watched the game. I just didn't have time to to give a recap of the, you know, for everybody who missed it. But man, that All Star Game did not disappoint, man. Shout out to Team USA say a TWNBA you know I know y'all a lot of y'all already know how it ended and there's a lot of panic but guess what there's nothing to panic this is this is this is all part of the grand plan you know what I'm saying that for for Team USA to purposefully lose to TWNBA bullshit 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 <laughs> nah, I'm just playing, man. Shout, shout, shout out to the All-Stars, man. Shout out to all of them. You know, Team USA and Team WNBA, man. They went crazy. You know, this WNBA was more competitive and more fun than the NBA, you know, than their NBA counterparts. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to the Queens. They all balled. And, um, you know, they, they played hard from from the jump, man. And the halftime, man, it, it, it was what? At halftime, I believe it was uh, 54 to 52 with um with uh, team, U team USA winning, right? Leading going into the half. And shh, it wasn't just that, though. Not only were they playing hard and aggressively, we even got some Kelsey on Kelsey crime, you know what I'm saying? It was Kelsey on Kelsey crime. We don't like that, you know what I'm saying? Kelsey Mitchell and Kelsey Plum got into a little, got into a little scuffle. Let him get up, let him get up, let him get up. Like that, like that. You know, just playing hard and competing, man. I love it. You know what I'm saying? Kelsey Mitchell for the Indiana Fever and Kelsey Plum from the um, Las Vegas a Aces, of course, man. So it, it, was, it was a great competitive uh, battle, you know, and at the end. But the, the second half, it was it was just all team WNBA, man, led by Arike Ogubawale. And she went crazy. She ended the game with 34 points. And all 34 points came in the second half, you know. Um, and, and, and then, of course, Kate, the Caitlin Clark, you know, she, uh, she set a record for the rookies in the WNBA All-Star game with 10 assists. You know, and of course, not to be outdone, Angel Reese set a record for the first WNBA player, uh, WNBA rookie to drop a double double in an All Star game. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to them. They they did their thing, and it was just too much for the uh, for the Team USA to overcome. You know, despite uh, thirty was it thirty two points from uh, from uh, Brianna Stewart, I believe. Well, Stewie dropped thirty two. I think uh, Asia Wilson had she contributed twenty two as well, and it just wasn't enough, man. Enrique Ogubuali with that thirty four, which which also broke another record for the most points scored. In the All Star Game, yeah, she just went crazy, man. But you know, like I said, the shining light is that I know a lot of people are panicking, saying, "Oh, the team, team, U team uh, WNBA should be represented by uh, the the team USA should be represented by Team WNBA. They should replace those girls." Hold on. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> So you know what I'm saying? As history, if you know your history, this is this is deja vu and it's good. It's good deja vu, right? Because in 2021, the last time they had this uh, format of TWBA versus, versus Team. Uh, First Team USA, Team USA lost. You know what I'm saying? Team USA lost, and guess what they continued, went on to do? They went on to win the gold, and that's the goal, right? The goal is to win the gold. So they were challenged by Team uh, uh, WNBA in 2021, and and you know they they went on to win the gold. And guess who won the uh, All Star Game MVP? It was Arike Ogubuale. She won the All Star Game MVP back then. She won it this time. Uh, Team USA beat. A loss to Team WNBA by eight points last time, and they lost by eight points this time. So you know what I'm saying. It, you know times do change, and nothing's going to stay the same. But you know it could just be a coincidence. But I think that's a good sign, a good omen that you know Team USA they got their test that they wanted. You know hopefully they don't run into uh, Arike Ogubuwale out there. Of course they won't. But I'm talking about Arike Ogubuwale caliber type player. If they, as long as they don't do that, they'll be fine. You know what I'm saying. They're going to take home gold again this time in Paris, and I think it's I think it's I think it's going to all bode well, man. You know they've been tested for the first time, and they're going to use this, and they gonna build off of it and learn from it and come back stronger and take home that gold baby good lord willing just like they did in 2021 man so don't panic don't panic you know what i'm talking about don't panic don't panic we're just getting started nigga don't panic don't panic like French Montana. But yeah, I appreciate y'all rocking me as always, man, for real. Shout out to all the record-setting women out there, man. The Queens doing their thing. Hopefully the Kings, you know what I'm saying? Not the Sacramento Kings, but like the Kings is in the, the basketball players in the NBA. They, they also make the All-Star game competitive like the like like their Queen counterparts, you know what I'm saying? Like the women out there, man. But I appreciate y'all rocking me as always, man. That's the update for the WNBA All-Star game. Sorry I was a little late. But like I said, there was a lot of boxing this weekend and, you know, I've been busy with this move and everything, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all be easy. Take care of yourselves. Remember, we're God. We can do anything without God. We are nothing. Y'all be easy. The doctor's out. Peace.
From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.